I'm a crush it. Call me. Welcome to Unsung, your nonprofit online news magazine show. I'm your host, Anthony Walker. In this episode, Unsung hits a milestone. We are on our 20th show. Looking back, we have covered some great stories and we look forward to covering even more. This week, we come from Beachview in the home of Sorgatron Media Studios, where such projects from PittsburghOnVideo.org as AwesomeCast takes place. AwesomeCast is a tech show where we talk to tech enthusiasts and local startups. Today, there is nothing better on a cold day than a warm cup of soup, and we'll tell you the best place to get it. Now, here are the stories from our area nonprofits. Through a partnership with the Oakland Business Improvement District and Pittsburgh Partnership for Neighborhood Development, Oakland will be the pilot community for Seenable. Seenable is a new online platform for making it easier to connect to, participate in, and interact with local communities. Through a web and mobile application, Seenable connects people to the businesses, places, events, news, and other people that make up local communities, while also providing a platform for local commerce to happen online. Head over to onlynpgh.com slash Seenable to learn more about how Seenable works and how it benefits communities. For the second consecutive year, the Ellis School's team of middle school students won first place honors in the Pittsburgh Regional Future City Competition, sponsored by Carnegie Science Center and the Engineer Society of Western Pennsylvania. The team won a trip to the 19th Annual Future City National Finals in Washington, D.C., February 19th through the 25th, where they will compete with the winners from 36 other regional competitions. The National Grand Prize is a trip to the U.S. Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama, provided by national final host Bentley Systems Incorporated. Each year, Future City presents themes that highlight a current issue and asks kids to investigate and come up with solutions. And finally, happy birthday WQED-FM 89.3. For 39 years, WQED-FM has been providing classical music and arts information to southwestern Pennsylvania. My name is Mark Dixon, and I'm the producer of Yurt, Your Environmental Road Trip. And we like to say it's an environmental documentary film that's not depressing. So basically, my friend Ben, his wife Julie, and I uh, hit all 50 states in one year to explore the good, the bad, and the weird about environmental sustainability all around the country. We had a good time. Um, we saved all of our garbage with us in the car the whole year, about one shoebox for all three of us each month. We're thrilled that we did it, and we tried to encapsulate as much as we can in this feature documentary film. And we've been screening at festivals all around the country. Uh, sometimes we win awards, and sometimes we just screen, and either way, it's a lot of fun. And people tend to leave the film smiling and inspired to take some action in their community, really make a difference. I'm running the, the Youth and Media Take a Shot at Changing the World contest, which is a it's a digital media kind of experiment, really, um, where we're giving kids lots of different prizes um, to make movies about something big that happened in Pittsburgh that changed the world, or they can make a movie about their big idea to change the world. It could be something about how they want to end world hunger, or it could be something about how they want to get better lunches in their cafeteria, or anywhere in between. Um, last year we did it about the polio vaccine, so we got about 265 kids to make movies about Pittsburgh's role in the, in the polio vaccine development. And the Jefferson Awards were founded in 1972 by Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, U.S. Senator Robert Taft Jr., and Sam Beard. And the idea was to create a Nobel Prize for volunteerism and community service. Since 2006, we have um, really focused on young Americans and various youth programs. The idea, again, to inspire, activate, and motivate youth to become the, um, the leaders of the next generation. It seemed like a natural fit to um, collaborate with Steeltown Entertainment with their Take a Shot at Changing the World contest. So in the second year of the Take a Shot contest, the Jefferson Awards is sponsoring um, a winner in the social action category of Take a Shot. And we are putting up a $2,500 cash prize. That winner will also get an expense paid trip to our annual gala in Washington, D.C. that's held every June. And they will also be provided with the one-on-one -on -one mentorship 
to put their plan into action. So the, uh, the whole idea is to just provide them with the tools, with the opportunity, so that they can think big and change the world. If you go to www.takeashotcontest.org, that's the website for the contest. All the information is on there. You can also feel free to email me at rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L, at steeltown.org, um, and I can talk to you about any, any questions you might have. We're just thrilled to be here today screening at the Heinz History Center as a part of Steeltown Entertainment's um, contest to take a shot at changing the world. And uh, I've been talking to Carl Curlander at Steeltown Entertainment for a few years now, and we've been looking for ways to collaborate, and it just so turns out that the Yurt film is is one example of a way that a young person can take a shot at changing the world through, through video. And the contest is a video contest, and um, it's open to junior high and high school students. There's prize money. Um, and uh, it's a whole lot of fun. So Yurt is basically a, an inspiring example of what, what people can do when they put their heart and their mind and their skills to, to, towards something good. You can get more information about the film at yurt.com. That's Y-E-R-T dot com. We've got over 60 short films about the project on the website, and uh, you can purchase the DVD there, the full film, if you want as well. The 13th season of Bulgarian and Macedonian National Educational and Cultural Center Soup Sega culinary program is in full swing. They offer 14 varieties of all natural homemade soups and other delicious ethnic specialties. Visit the center at 449 to 451 West 8th Avenue, West Homestead, PA 15120. More information is also available at bmnecc.org. The center recently shared their 80th anniversary video with Pittsburgh on Video. Catch more of the history with other segments on POV, but now, here's some soup for you. <laughs> some funding to help support some of our activities. So I thought, okay, soup, what a great project. It's not halushki, it's not pierogi, it's not fish, it's not like anybody else does. So I thought, okay, we'll sell soup. When Pat came to us about the soup idea, and we all thought it was really genius, all us ladies. And so we all got together in the hot month of August and cooked soup for weeks. That first Saturday, the ladies were here selling soup and the people came and came and came and we sold everything, every quart we had. We tried to make our soups low fat, low salt. Um, we like to appeal to the vegetarians, to uh, people who have gluten issues or dairy issues. So we really tried to keep in mind that our soups are filling a need in the marketplace and in people's lives. Every Saturday morning I come and I sell soup. I've been able to meet people from all over the world doing that. And it's been a real joy. All right, here you go, Fred. Here's your receipt. Thank you. Here's your soup. Enjoy. Have a good week. Thank you. We'll see you in a couple of weeks when I'm back for some more soup been coming here for soup ever since they opened. It's, it's wonderful soup and I've become friends with, with the folks that are in charge of selling it and uh, I, I really look forward to coming here every, every couple weeks to, to get some soup and get some gavotch, which is the beef stew. It's, it's the closest that ever, I've ever found to what my mother used to make and the uh, chicken and dumpling soup is, uh, is good matzo ball soup too. And four chicken farina? All right, four. All right, I have that now. Yeah, make that, make that six. Okay. All right. Live action Candyland? This is not your normal library. That's because it's after hours at the library at Carnegie Library Main Branch in Oakland. You can have some fun and see a side of the library you might not know about. Tickets are $25. 
You can visit carnegielibrary.org slash after hours or call 412-622-6502 to purchase tickets. Kids in kindergarten through third grade can write and illustrate their own original stories to be entered to win great local and national prizes. Participants even have a chance to have their stories made into live puppet plays at WQED Multimedia 2012 PBS Kids Go Writers Contest May 12 Winners event, which will be held in WQED's historic Fred Rogers studio. To register, go to writeonkids.org. Now for an event I'm extremely familiar with, Chachi Plays for Kids. Chachi Plays for Kids is a 24-hour game-a-thon in which I sit down from 7 p.m. to 7 p.m. and play video games for 24 hours straight for a worthy cause. This year, it takes place on February 10th at 7 p.m. to February 11th at 7 p.m. We're hosting it at the Tunesium on 945 Liberty Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA. Each year, we do it in order to raise money for a specific charity. We chose the Father Ryan's Art Center and Tunesium this year to help them start art programs for underprivileged children in the area. If you want to help us reach our goal of $3,000, you can go to ChachiPlays.com and click that donate button. Every little bit helps. Thanks for watching this episode of Unsung. Be sure to tell your friends. You can check out previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on PittsburghOnVideo.org. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. I'm going to go prepare. So I said I'm a crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. And these dudes get mad cause they can't even find a day job. I stay hard with or without Viagra. And I said the flow crush like the force of Niagara. I'm after a major label budget, but since I'm not pop top 40, they all scared to touch it.